Orad's pattern recognition tracking technology is undoubtedly the most cost-effective and simplest tracking system available. Based on proprietary algorithms developed by Orad, the system extracts camera position, orientation, and field of view from the video signal itself. Therefore, installation and setup is extremely easy and quick. Similar in nature to barcode technology, Orad's pattern recognition tracking system utilizes traditional blue or green screen chroma key techniques. By adding grid lines of a similar blue or green hue onto the backdrop, the system recognizes and processes the overlaid information by reading the video signal. However, these grid lines are unseen in the compositing stage during the chroma key process. The algorithms support multi-camera productions and require only a small portion of the grid to be visible by the system for sufficient tracking. The pattern recognition system is an ideal solution for small studios, eliminating the need for tracking equipment mounted in the studio and on the camera. In order to extract the X, Y, and Z parameters of the camera, an IR LED sensor may be mounted on each camera, and two surveillance-like cameras are mounted on either side of the chroma key box, which provide an image of the studio floor. Mounted on a pedestal, Orad sensor heads are extremely precise with highly accurate resolution which answers the need for camera tracking for fixed camera position shots and extreme close-ups. Sensor heads retrieve the pan, tilt, zoom, and focus parameters of the camera, and which in essence allows 360 degree shooting range. Adding sensors to a conventional camera head does not change the basic characteristics of the head itself. The smooth fluid motion, the precision control remain unchanged. Orad's X-Sync Infrared Tracking System is the most advanced tracking technology for virtual sets that provides unmatched performance and accuracy. X-Sync opens new dimensions for virtual sets, as no longer does the camera need to remain fixed to its position. With X-Sync, cameras can be mounted to pedestals, handheld, or mounted to a crane, and freely move within the studio. X-Sync gives 360 degrees shooting range and support multi-camera production. Tracking is achieved by infrared LED targets mounted onto studio cameras. These targets are tracked by an array of surveillance cameras which are fixed onto studio walls and the ceiling. These cameras are sensitive to IR light and can detect the camera parameters and position. After this whole fiasco, I decided to just take a quick look to see if ORAD Virtual Set Technologies had had any sort of uh, work with NASA. You know. Just crazy, crazy thought there, right? Use the search engine to go look into this. Well, I found something kind of interesting. A company called Telemetrics Incorporated has a contract with Johnson Space Center providing the latest camera robotics technology to NASA's government television at Mission Control. Johnson, NASA Johnson is the YouTube channel that released the, um, the video with the gridded blue screen behind it just so happens that telemetrics works closely with ORAD virtual set technologies apparently 
at least they have uh, that listed on their website. Innovative virtual studio and camera robotic systems make most of limited studio. Telemetrics, camera robotic systems, and ORAD virtual studio keep Traders Television Network on track. So they have worked with ORAD in the past, and this is the same company that has a contract with NASA Johnson to install their latest camera robotics technology. I'm just pointing this out. You know, the people calling me a shill aren't pointing this out. I'm pointing it out. Um, you know, look into it for yourself. The same com company installing the camera systems in Johnson Space Center that released the grid of blue screen footage are the same people who work with ORAD Virtual Studio, the same company that I'm saying would probably be supplying the 3D images for NASA. As great a ping pong player as Tom Hanks is, he's not as good as what Forrest has to become, so we did that using movie magic. You have the actors mime playing ping pong, and then you put the ball in later optically. We had this thing of clicks of when we're supposed to hit it and when we're supposed to, when we're supposed to wait. Come on up, charge up, Tom. <laughs>